Please be seated. Good morning. So my sermons don't always have a title, but sometimes a title jumps out and shouts, here I am. And every time that happens, I'm reminded of Ben Baldus. Some of you will remember him as our long-term interim pastor of the ELCA variety. And one of the perks of our agreement with the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America is the joy of being able to share clergy between our churches. Pastor Ben truly enjoyed being with the Episcopalians and fully enjoyed being a Lutheran, calling himself a Lutherpalian every Sunday. And most Sundays would start his sermon with the phrase, if we posted sermon titles on the sideboard out front, this one would be called whatever it is. So today I channel the memory of the late and treasured Ben Baldus by starting my sermon with, if we posted sermon titles on the signboard out front, this one would be called Beloved but Obstinate. Did you listen to the readings? That psalm, those proverbs? Everything about those Bible readings, the music, each movement of the liturgical service that Episcopalians do this morning will flow in and out of the reminders that we are beloved community and so very stubborn. You heard the wisdom from the writers of Proverbs say, whoever sows injustice will reap calamity, and the rod of anger will fail. Those who are generous are blessed, for they share their bread with the poor. Oh, Proverbs, stop. I don't do that. Do you do that? We see homeless in this small town. We see them when we go to bigger towns. Uh, you know, my money's kind of precious, and I don't know what they're going to use that money for. Wendy, I love you. You're stubborn. James said, has not God chosen the poor in the world to be rich in faith and to be heirs of the kingdom that he has promised to those who love him? But you, I hear that directly, Wendy, you have dishonored the poor. That's our baptismal covenant, to respect the dignity of every human being. Animal person that I am, to respect the dignity of every being. Creation care that I'm all about, respect the dignity of the air we breathe through masks because some of us are beloved but obstinate. We care about what we want and we forget to listen. We forget to hear. We ignore it. And we hear Mark's recollection of what Jesus said when he said to the woman, let the children be fed first. It's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. It's an insult. A Gentile. No better than a dog. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Another word for obstinate is tenacious. She was tenacious. She had a daughter who needed help, and she knew Jesus could do it. She was stubborn. She said, give me just a crumb. That's all I need. And Jesus says, tells her, tells us, you got it. And because Mark loves a good sandwich, he always puts two stories together in case the first one didn't make sense so that we don't lose sight of what's really being said. 
for somebody who cannot hear. Jesus touches him. The thing about spit, don't tell Mother Anne. And immediately his ears are opened. His tongue is released and he speaks plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, the more zealously, obstinately, they proclaimed it. It wasn't that long ago that we had to call Jesus' mom because we thought this guy was crazy. But now we're learning there is something special. These aren't parlor tricks. These aren't simple physical healings. There is some spiritual force emanating from this person, screaming to us, I love you. Stop being so stubborn. During communion, we'll hear Mother Anne say, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again, you called us to return. Who loves you that much that again and again and again and again, you stubborn, sweet Wendy, I love you. Why are you so obstinate? During the Lord's Prayer today, you will hear yourself say, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus taught us those words because he knows full well. He loves us. Oh, but we are stubborn. Ooh, shiny. Look at that. Let's go that way. There's this guy who is there every day, every minute to turn us away from those things that are evil, that are difficult, that are painful. We won't stop having a hard time figuring out what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's better, what's best. We never do it alone because we are beloved. So when we listen to the words that Jesus taught us and we lean into those words and we live into those words, we can remember that we are beloved and we are wrong and we are stubborn, and that is not all of us. So when you leave this building today, you'll hear your deacon implore you to go forth in the name of Christ, not in your own name, even though it's a great name, not in the name of Ben Baldus, even though that was a good name, not in the name of Trinity Episcopal Church of Marshall, Michigan, even though that's a good name. But our liturgy, our scripture, our music ask us to go forth in the name of Christ who holds us as beloved and seeks to release us from our stubbornness. Amen. <laughs>